Hello friends, let us start with today's physics topic 09, motion in a straight line, part 1. Let us start with the welcome message. Dear students, welcome to our channel experiencetutor.com. In this channel, we will teach physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology for the students of class 10th, 11th and 12th and those who are appearing for the school board examinations and entrance examinations like IIT, NEET and all state level engineering and medical examinations. This course is organized according to different topics for each subjects. Therefore, it contains separate video for each and individual topics. Hence, it covers complete syllabus for CBSC, ICSC, ISC and all the state board examinations and engineering and medical examinations. You can also find the relevant topics for foreign school examinations like SAT, IGCSE, IB, etc. Enjoy your learning. Thank you. Define position. Position of any point is completely expressed by two factors, its distance from the observer and its direction with respect to observer. That is why position is characterized by a vector known as position vector. Let point P is in a xy plane and its coordinates are x and y. Then position vector R of point will be xi plus yz. And if the point P is in a space and its coordinates are x, y and z, then position vector can be expressed as R is equal to xi plus yz plus zk. Define rest and motion. If a body does not change its position as time passes with respect to frame of reference, it is said to be at rest. And if a body changes its position as time passes with respect to frame of reference, it is said to be in motion. What is frame of reference? It is a system to attached and with reference to which observer describes an event. Rest and motion are relative terms. It depends upon the frame of which a set of coordinates are references. Define one dimensional motion. Motion of a body in a straight line is called one dimensional motion. When only one coordinate of the position of a body changes with time, then it is said to be moving in one dimension. Example motion of a car on a straight road. Motion of freely falling body.
etc. Define motion in two dimension or two dimensional motion. Motion of a body in a plane is called two dimensional motion. When two coordinates of the position of a body changes with time, then it is said to be moving two dimensionally. Example motion of a car on a circular turn. Motion of a billiards ball, etc. Define three dimensional motion. Motion of a body in a space is called three dimensional motion. When all three coordinates of the position of a body changes with time, then it is said to be moving three dimensionally. Example, motion of a flying kite, motion of a flying insect, etc. Define distance. It is the actual path length covered by a moving particle in a given interval of time. It is a scalar quantity. Its dimension is m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 0. Its unit is meter in SI unit. Define displacement. Displacement is the change in position vector. That is a vector joining initial to final position. First, displacement is a vector quantity. Second, dimension of displacement is m to the power 0, l to the power 1, t to the power 0. Unit of displacement is meter. If S1, S2, S3, Sn are the displacements of a body, then the total displacement or net displacement is the vector sum of individuals. That is S is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus dot 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 Sn. Compare distance and displacement. First, distance is greater than magnitude of displacement. Second, for a moving particle, distance can never be negative or zero while displacement can be. That is, distance is greater than zero but displacement can be smaller than or smaller than or equal to zero. Third, for motion between two points, displacement is single valued while Distance depends on actual path and so can have many values. Fourth, for a moving particle, distance can never decrease with time, while displacement can. Decrease in displacement with time means body is moving towards the initial position. Fifth, in general, Magnitude of displacement is not equal to distance. However, it can be so if the motion is along a straight line without changing the direction. Define speed. Rate of distance covered with time is called speed. 
So important points are eight is a scalar quantity having symbol small v. Second, its dimension is m zero l one t minus one. Third, its unit is meter per second in SI and its CGS unit is centimeter per second. Define uniform speed and non-uniform speed. Uniform speed when a particle covers equal distance in equal interval of time no matter how small the intervals are, then it is said to be moving with uniform speed. Non-uniform or variable speed. In non-uniform speed, particle covers unequal distance in equal interval of times. Define velocity, the rate of change of position, that is, rate of displacement with time is called velocity. Few important points for velocities are first, it is a vector quantity with symbol V. Its dimension is M0 L1. T minus 1. Its unit is meter per second and its CGS unit is centimeter per second. Define uniform velocity and non-uniform velocity. Uniform velocity, a particle is said to have uniform velocity if magnitude as well as direction of its velocity remains same and this is possible only when the particle moves in the straight, same straight line without reversing its direction. Non-uniform velocity, a particle is said to have non-uniform velocity if either of magnitude or direction of velocity changes or both the direction and magnitude changes. Give the comparison between instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity is always tangential to the path followed by the particle. A particle may have constant instantaneous speed but variable instantaneous velocity. The magnitude of instantaneous velocity is equal to the instantaneous speed. If particle is moving with constant velocity, then its average velocity and instantaneous velocity are always equal. If Displacement is given as a function of time, then time derivatives of displacement will give velocity. Give the comparison between average speed and average velocity. Average speed is scalar while average velocity is a vector, both having same uh, SI unit meter per second and dimension m0 l t minus 1. The average speed or velocity depends on the time interval over which it is defined. For a given time interval, average velocity is single valued while average speed can have many values depending upon the path followed. 
if after motion body comes back to the initial position then v average is equal to 0 as displacement is equal to 0 but v average is greater than 0 and finite as displacement is greater than 0. For a moving body, average speed can never be negative or 0 unless t tends to infinity, while average velocity can be that is v average is greater than 0 while v average is equal to or less than 0. Define acceleration. The time rate of change of velocity of an object is called acceleration of the object. Few important points. It is a vector quantity. Its direction is same as that of the change in velocity, not of the velocity. Second, there are three possible ways by which change in velocity may occur. Either change in magnitude of the velocity or change in direction of the velocity or change in man magnitude and direction both. Its dimension is m0 l1 t minus 2. Its unit is meter per second square or its CGS unit is centimeter per second square. Explain how acceleration changes with the change in velocity. When only direction of the velocity changes, acceleration perpendicular to velocity, example, uniform circular motion. When only magnitude of the velocity changes, acceleration parallel to anti parallel to the velocity, example, motion under gravity. When magnitude and direction of the velocity changes, Accession has two components, one is perpendicular to the velocity and other is parallel to or anti-parallel to the velocity. Define uniform and non-uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration. A body is said to have uniform acceleration if magnitude and direction of the acceleration remains constant during the particle motion. If a particle is moving with uniform acceleration, this does not necessarily imply that particle is moving in a straight line. Example, projectile motion. Non-uniform acceleration. A body is said to have non-uniform acceleration if magnitude or direction or both change during motion. Instantaneous acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration is defined as the acceleration of the body at a particular instant of time during its motion and it is given as the limit of the average acceleration at the time interval delta t goes to 0. a is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta v upon delta t that is equal to dv upon dt. And this is the end of this topic. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and give us a like sign. Please click on the bell icon so that you get automatic notification when a new video is uploaded by us. Thank you for watching our channel.